Today's topic is about reply subject and async subject. So let's start. Hi everyone, this is Subrat and you are watching Fun of Heuristics. So on this channel, you will get to know about the programming languages, the framework and all about the algorithm. So please consider subscribing and hit that bell icon if you haven't yet. Now let's jump into the video. If you don't know what is a subject and how to use it, where to use it, you can go to watch my previous video. I will link it there. You can go and watch that one then come back to the video and continue from here. In the last video, I forgot to told you about the basic difference between a subject and, and a observable. The main difference between a subject and an observable is to an observable, you can only subscribe. You can't emit the same observable where you are subscribing the value. Emit means that you, you can't send a next value, but in the subject that can be possible. So here you can check that we are subscribing this subject. So this is a subject we have instantiated here. Now this is a behavior subject. You can take it and take it as any subject. Okay. So we are subscribing the same subject subject here and we are emitting the next value from the same subject. So this is the main practical purpose why you, you will use or you may use a subject. The multicasting is the, is the, is the internal thing what is happening due to this okay so we'll jump to the today's video that is about re reply subject and async subject now the reply subject and the behavior subject can be compared together okay so the only difference will be you can specify how many values will be remembered by the reply observable for how much duration so that it will be emitted to that uh, to, to a new subscriber if they come uh, come subscribe to the observable and the same duration same duration means the provided duration and if you don't specify any duration then it will emit the all the remember value so we will check how it's working so i will just create a variable and we'll name it as a reply so that will be a new reply subject now here the difference comes between the reply subject and the behavior subject okay if you remember from the previous video i will show you now again here we are giving behavior subject of zero it can be anything it can be 100 so the, here we are specifying the default value so that what is the default value that the behavior subject will emit to the new subscriber or the first subscriber okay so i will get back to zero again but here like i told you you can specify the how many value that the reply subject will remember so we'll specify uh, a three so it will remember the till three emits okay so that it will be multicast those things uh, you'll get to know okay so now what we'll do here we'll subscribe to this uh, subject and so this dot subscribe we'll give some data that will be get will and we'll lock so we'll console log the value then we'll write first uh, here so we'll write first then the data okay then we'll try to emit some value So what is happening here is I have uh, subscribed to the observable okay so I have subscribed to the observable and console I'm logging the fast the data then I'm emitting some value as a this observable dot next and here I'm again I'm resubscribing the same subject means reply subject and console logging the value at second data so now we'll save the thing and we'll go to the uh, browser Now we will go to the browser and we will check, I will just try to refresh it again. As it remember three value, last three value, last three value will be from like EDC. You can check last three value should be like this, C, D and E. So it should start emitting second from the C, 
which is, is, is happening here again. So the last three value got emitted means got uh, provided to the new subscriber. Then it start again from the F that is F and G that we emitted. So that's happened in the order. Okay. And now we'll see how we can specify a time interval for which the reply subject will remember the values okay so like here for suppose i am uh, giving 300 milliseconds so the second parameter will be your millisecond okay so here how much time you want uh, suppose the three so this three value to remember till the 300 milliseconds so for that we have to change a little bit here so we will check that here. So what I'm doing here is I'm setting a interval of 500 millisecond as uh, we are storing for 300 millisecond. So we'll get a time around 200 millisecond to check and I'm emitting a random value to the subscribers so we will give a set timeout here so that it will start receiving value after some time so uh, i'll go so here i am starting subscribing uh, the second value that means the for the second sub uh, subscriber after 1200 milliseconds so like 1.2 seconds so we'll go to the browser and we'll check what is happening here so what i'm doing here is i'm unsubscribing those uh, two uh, observables so that uh, will not get continuous infinite uh, console log so if i hit a refresh you can see here the second value has the only one pre-emitted value okay so that is due to the time we provided we will go here and we will check that like we are saying our reply subject that you will store or remember the value last three value till 300 seconds and we are emitting means providing the next value in every 500 seconds so we are coming at uh, 1200 millisecond and the previous value which is emitted is at 1000 millisecond means one second and that is less than so the difference will be 200 for the diff <laughs> it's, it's complicated so the, diff so the difference between two that is 200 which is less than 300 so we are getting the value if i will change this to 100 okay then it will be reduced no if, if i change this to i'll do like 2000 okay so we just change it to 2000 now we'll go and check that we'll get uh, the value pretty fast here oh yeah now if we can go and check a bit here like we got two value got emitted because that is get remember for uh, 2000 millisecond that is for two seconds so we got the value so this is the simple math you can you can do it's a little confusing so this is what it is like you tell the reply subject till how much time you will remember the value and that uh, you can use it now we'll check what is a async subject and what is the use of that so async subject is like uh, it will only emit the value to the to its subscriber when the subject is got completed means when the observable is got completed so you may have remember or you may have know that so observable has basically three states like next which means the success stage if you have success response from a, from your observable to the subscriber then the success part will be get executed then we have a error state which as the name says it is for some error occur then the last part if your observable is everything emitted successfully then the observable will emit as a complete okay so this is a complete state if you don't know all about the states if you don't know about, know about 
uh, observable how it works and how internally it's functioning you can go to one of my video i will link it there so what we'll do we'll again create uh, So what I'm doing here is I have created a async subject, then I'm subscribing it twice, like in the previous example, then I'm uh, emitting some value like as also like in the previous example, the here the main thing as I already told you, it will only emit the last value when the subject is completed. Okay, so I'm completing the subject after 1000 second that is one millisecond. So we'll save this one and if you go to the browser, okay, this got mixed up with the previous example, but still you can check this one. If I zoom a little bit here, only G got emitted, okay? And uh, which is the last value, uh, what is, uh, list, which, is the, which is the last value what we are emitting in the async subject, okay? What, what I will do, I will just go here and comment this one so it will not emit any value now so we'll save and we'll go to the browser now you can see after one second we only got g emitted from the async subject okay so here again i'm explaining so async subject it will only emit the value to its subscriber when it itself get completed so we are completing the async subject after one second so here if i refresh it again you will see that we are getting the value after one second and that value is only g but in the previous case that is reply subject case we are saying uh, to, to the reply subject that how my, how many value you will store for how much time so that you can emit the value to the new subscribers okay so async subject you can use in those cases like uh, where you want only the last value to be emitted and when your work is done and thus your subscriber so suppose you are emitting the subject async subject so your subscribers would get only the last value when the thing all the things are done okay in those cases you can use the Async subject. So that's it for today, guys. Today we saw what is a reply subject and what is your async subject and how to use them. So, what is the their main characteristics and all. So, if you are liking the video till now, you can give a big thumbs up to this video. And if you are liking my work and you want to support me, you can support me on the Patreon. I will give the link below. And if you want to learn new things and you want to see this type of video you can subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you will get notified whenever i will post a video to the youtube and please give some valuable comment in the comment section below like any feedback for me what you like or what you dislike in the video so that that will be very good feedback for me and i can improve myself and please share this video with your friends family colleague to everybody so that everybody will learn together we will going to meet in the next video. Till that, stay happy. Bye-bye.